Welcome to UNITE Policy Conference Day 3, where delegates have discussed equalities, pensions and trident renewal. We join the conference in the international debate. This motion is calling for support for the solidarity groups and movements in this country. In Cuba, we've had 50 years of social justice, despite an illegal blockade by America. Venezuela, again, another country that's had marvellous social progress since 1998. Regarding support for workers uniting the global union. In today's climate of globalisation, it is becoming imperative that working people stand together and fight back for our workers' rights across the world. This is why international solidarity and organising is crucial in challenging the economic and political power of multinational companies. These companies operate one corporate policy that targets the erosion and terms and conditions of millions of working people throughout the UK, Europe, North America and the rest of the world. Many of us comrades in this room work for these multinational companies. This is why it's imperative that we continue developing the strong links that unite and the sisters and brothers of the United Steelworkers of America and Canada have already forged. You know, solidarity, many times, is an easy word to use. It's a cliché. You know, solidarity with, solidarity for. It's a cliché that it's, e it's an easy word to say, but it's a very hard word to implement. And with Workers Uniting, we're talking about making solidarity not a cliché, but a verb, a verb that implies action. And we can also assist so many other countries. We've done great work in Colombia. We're now looking at shipbreaking in Bangladesh, which is one of the great horrors of the world, where people die daily. Um, we're engaged in Africa. We're engaged in Mexico. Conference. Uh, my name is Bill Bellowis. I'm with 6500 in Sudbury. Uh, the plaque reads, in great appreciation to Unite for demonstrating to our ongoing struggle with Valley Inco that global solidarity is about action more than words and that injustice anywhere must be confronted with the conviction that any injury to one is an injury to all. Colleagues, this is on behalf of you, debate members. Now we move to the debate on Trident Renewal. Up for discussion were two broadly opposing motions and a unifying statement from the EC, which supported defence industry members' jobs, but also called for the non-renewal of Trident. Whilst the executive statement makes it clear, and I quote, that Britain should therefore give a lead by not seeking a replacement for Trident, it is not an anti-Trident statement, as there are conditions attached to the opposition to Trident. Our composite opposes the EC statement with clear, unequivocal words, just in case there is any suggestion of fudge and confusion. Our composite says, Unite believes that as a signatory to the Non-Proliferation Treaty, Britain should comply with it, cancel Trident and arrest the Britain's nuclear arsenal. That's it, no ifs, no buts, council try them. Members of this union's jobs. But before I go on to discuss those jobs in detail, I want to touch on the political climate. Tuesday's debate on Palestine branded Israel as a rogue state. Israel is in fact a nuclear armed rogue state. There are other nations around the world who for their own political reasons have developed a nuclear capability. There are also a couple of nations around the state whose totalitarian presidents have the hots for developing the nuclear capability. Kim Jong-il in North Korea and uh, Aminadinejad in Iran. Cancelling our nuclear deterrent now will not alter the mindset of those people. We know, genuinely know, that this is a difficult issue where feelings of all of us, including me, all of us, including me, runs very, 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 very high here. But in the debate, it may obscure, in some cases, if you sit back in a calm and collective way, it does obscure just how close we are, all of us, on much of the major issues before us. 
There's no balance, and people have spoken about that. And that's why I do stand here in a difficult debate, but having no problem in recommending conference to support the EC statement and for both the composite and the motion to be remitted. Conference welcomed TUC General Secretary Brendan Barber, who said he was proud to work with Unite, especially in trying to resolve the recent BA dispute. He said Unite had a unique and powerful contribution to make. It should seize that chance and that the TUC would support the union all the way.